According to media reports, French engine manufacturer Safran and DRDO will soon finalize on the work share agreement for the joint development of a 110 kN engine, and to make this joint venture profitable and also ensure that both Indian and French companies can recover their investments, India will agree to procure nearly 1,000 engines coming out of the new joint venture. The engine order commitment of 1,000 engines will include various spin-off programs, that includes an upscale 130 kN engine, a downscale 75 kN dry engine variant. The Indian Air Force has committed to procure 40 AMCA Mark I and 80 AMCA Mark II fighters, which means that around 700 engines will be required just for the AMCA program. The F-414 engines of the Tejas Mark II and Ted BF jet programs will also be swapped with the new Indo-French engine by 2040. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has announced, that the second guided missile destroyer of Project 15B has successfully completed final machinery trials on 6 July, and it will soon be inducted into the Indian Navy. Designed by Navy's Directorate of Naval Design, the Project 15B destroyers will come with improved features of stealth automation and ordnance. The 7,400-ton P-15B destroyers are armed with 32 bar rocket missiles and 16 BrahMos supersonic anti-ship missiles. They are also equipped with a total atmosphere control system, which allows them to operate in regions of nuclear fallout. The Indian Navy will induct the Akula-2 nuclear-powered attack submarine by 2026, and the Indian Navy has already got in principle approval for the development of six next-generation SSNs, and the program will be executed under Prime Minister's office at national mode to maintain secrecy, and so that the funds will not come out of the budget of the Navy. The Indian Navy's Naval Design Bureau has started design and development work on nuclear attack submarine program, and it already has an established and proven nuclear submarine supply line that it can be used to further expand its SSN program in much shorter time. The Indian Army had raised its first LCH squadron at Bangalore on 1 June 2022, and this squadron will move to Eastern Command on completion in 2023. The Army aims to raise seven LCH units, and each unit will have ten light combat helicopters for combat roles in the mountains. The Army Aviation's Corps was scheduled to receive first of the six Apache helicopters from 2023, but the delivery has been delayed, and the deliveries will begin in early 2024. The government is also in talks with Boeing for additional Apache helicopters, that will also go to the Indian Army. The Army Aviation Corps also got control of the Heron UAVs which were earlier under the Artillery Corps, and will also get the long-range Hermes 900 UAVs from Israel which are manufactured in India by Adani Group. Indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant has successfully completed the fourth phase of sea trials, and the Navy has said that it undertook integrated trials of the majority of equipment and systems on board, including some of the aviation facilities complex equipment. The ship's delivery is being targeted at the end of July, that will be followed by commissioning in August this year. The older generation Mi-17 medium-lift helicopters of the Indian Air Force are in for a major upgrade, and plans are being firmed up on retrofitting them with advanced avionics electronic warfare suites and surveillance equipment. Under the project, 54 Mi-17 and 32 Mi-17 1V helicopters will be upgraded, and the work will be outsourced to the industry and undertaken at Indian Air Force establishments. <laughs>